welcome back to my channel thank you so much for subscribing for sharing my videos for liking my videos just for all the positivity and the support on this channel thank you so much and I truly appreciate that and I appreciate you and if it's your first time welcome to my channel and don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed because there's so much interesting things that are on this channel that you don't want to miss so today we want to pray a prayer for a future husband um, maybe you haven't met him maybe you've already met him maybe you are already dating you know whatever season that you're in as long as you're not yet married and this prayer is for you and when we pray these kind of prayers we are seated in Christ uh, we are seated with Christ above powers above principalities above rulers of the darkness of this age so we are praying from a place of victory a place of honor a place of already having conquered these powers and these things that maybe are fighting against you so because there are powers that may be fighting against your marriage or against you coming together with your future spouse so when you pray pray with understanding and pray with the authority that you have in Christ that you're seated with him above situations above powers above rulers so I just wanted to sort of make that clear so that when you pray your prayers are not just in vain and you're praying looking down at your situation when you're already seated with Christ so you're looking down here on this earth in this present realm you're looking at your situation you're looking at your future spouse and you're speaking life into him and we want to pray according to the book of Genesis which is uh, where everything began where the whole marriage began the concept of marriage the foundation of marriage began we want to pray according to that word so uh, if you want to open your Bible so we're gonna pray from uh, Genesis chapter 2 verse 7 and we're gonna pray also verse 21 and then we're gonna pray verse 24 so let's just pray we're gonna do a prayer where we are decreeing the Word of God and decreeing into the life of the spirit of the future spouse so we're going to speak to his spirit so you're speaking to his spirit because this is spiritual this is not um, a physical thing or a soulish thing we're doing things that are spiritual so I'm just gonna join my faith to your faith today and just repeat after me um, in faith God Almighty I thank you for putting the breath of life in the nostrils of the husband that you created for me I thank you, God Almighty, that you have made this man a living being in you. You've made him a new creature in Christ. Father, I thank you for salvation that you have given my future spouse, whom you created only for me in Jesus' name. And right now, I say to you, my future husband, whom God has ordained for me from the beginning of time, future spouse, wherever that you are today, if you don't know Jesus Christ, if you don't yet have salvation in Christ and the Spirit of God, I pray in the name of Jesus that you begin to draw near to the Spirit of God. Father, in the name of Jesus, if my future spouse does not yet know you right now, God, I pray that by your Spirit, You begin to draw him nearer to you right now. I supplicate in the name of Jesus. The name above every name. And I say to you, future husband, hear my voice. I speak into the womb of your spirit. That you have now been hijacked from the kingdom of darkness to the kingdom of light. In the name of Jesus, by faith I hijack you for Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name I decree and declare. Amen. Let's go to verse 21. Father, even as you created Adam, 
You made him to fall into a deep sleep. And he slept. Father, you took one of his ribs and you closed up the flesh in its place. You made that rib into a woman. God, I thank you for my future spouse. I thank you, God Almighty, that you have given him the tools to love me as Christ loves the church. I thank you that even as you have given him a deep sleep, God, I pray that you protect him as he sleeps and prepares for me. Father, protect him from the wiles of Satan, the deceptions of fornication, the deceptions of pornography, the deceptions of violence, the deceptions of world acceptance. Father, even as he prepares for me and as you prepare me for him, in this process of coming together, I pray that there is no deception, O oh God. I pray that there is no error, O oh God. I pray that there is no misconduct, O oh God. I pray that there is no delay, O oh God, in this process of my future spouse having to be prepared for me and I for him. God, I thank you for your grace and your power that is upon my future spouse even now. God Almighty, I thank you for the equipping that you are doing in his life. I thank you that you are preparing him by your spirit to walk in his true calling as your son and also as my husband. In Jesus' name. And right now I speak in the spirit realm to my future husband. Future husband, wherever you are today, hear my voice, the voice of your rib, whom God created specifically for you, as you begin to be prepared for me, and I for you, I decree that you will not be confused. I decree that you will not have any doubt. I decree that you will wait patiently. I decree that you have all the tools that you need to have as a husband whom God ordained you to be. I decree that the grace of God is upon you. I decree that the enveloping Power of the Spirit of God is upon you. I decree that you will not be delayed by any Jezebel in the name of Jesus. I decree that you have discernment and insight to recognize me and to recognize my voice. In the name of Jesus, you will never be confused about me. In the name of Jesus, you will never have any doubts about me. Future husband, begin to prepare yourself even now if you have not yet prepared. 
in the name of Jesus. Stand firm, chaste, as a husband ought to be for his glorious wife. This I decree and declare in the name of Jesus. And I seal it in the blood of Jesus. Amen. Let's go to verse 24. God Almighty, I thank you that you said that a man shall leave his father and mother and be joined to his wife and that they shall become one flesh. Thank you, God, for this decree. Lord, let every part and blessing of this decree of becoming one flesh be witnessed in my marriage with my future spouse. God, I pray, remove everything that is keeping my future spouse. Everything that is trying to destroy my future spouse. Everything that is trying to steal from my future husband to have the ability, the strength, and the power to leave his father and mother and to be joined to me. Lord, by your spirit, circumcise every bondage, every chain, binded by your power, Spirit of God. Every imprisonment that is stopping my future husband from joining himself to me, his wife, in the name of Jesus, spiritually, emotionally, psychologically, financially, and physically, in the name of Jesus. God, if there's anything that will hinder us from experiencing the full blessing of becoming one flesh when we get married, Father, I pray that you begin to operate and bring healing, recovery, and wholeness in that area before we become one upon my future husband right now and upon myself in Jesus name and right now I decree and declare in the spirit future husband by the blood of Jesus hear my voice Come out from every hindrance, every pit, every dungeon, every hole that is stopping you from physically cleaving, from psychologically cleaving, from financially cleaving to me when I become your wife, physically. In the name of Jesus, I decree wholeness upon you. I decree healing upon you. I decree restoration upon you. Upon every area of your life that has been damaged and destroyed by Satan to hinder you from walking in the fullness of Genesis chapter 2 verse 24 in the name of Jesus when we become one flesh in marriage 
we will experience the fullness of the blessing of marriage sexually, physically, spiritually, financially, psychologically, in the name of Jesus. Begin to come out from every area, every wrong relationship. If you are in a relationship right now, future husband, come out of it. If you have been serial dating, future husband, come out of that. Right now, I command it in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you for these words and we seal them by the blood of Jesus. Father, we thank you that these words have gone forth to do what we have set for them to do. I thank you, God, for the manifestation that is taking place right now, even in this realm. Oh, God, I thank you for your spirit and your power. In the name of Jesus, the name above every name. Father, let there be signs, miracles, and wonders in the person that has just said this prayer, oh, God. Let them begin to experience visions and even dreams of their future husband, O God Almighty. Father, let these dreams and visions come only from your throne. Every dream and vision from the pit of hell, I command it right now to subside and I bind it in the name of Jesus and I throw it back into the pit of hell. Nothing shall bring confusion in this person's life. In the name of Jesus, there is order, there is no confusion, there is no doubt, there is no error. In the name of Jesus, for the steps of a righteous person are ordained by God. In the name of Jesus, I decree, let the steps of this person be ordained by God. As they walk towards their future husband, God, lead them as you led Eve. Oh Lord, I pray. In the name of Jesus, let it be easy, oh God, when they meet. Father, I pray. In the name of Jesus, let it be instant, oh God, even as Adam instantly recognized his rib, oh God. Let this future husband for this person, oh God, recognize them instantly. Father, I pray, let every scale be removed, oh God, from the eyes of their future husbands. For those that have prayed this prayer, Father, I pray, in the name of Jesus, the name above every name. Father, I thank you for the signs, miracles, and wonders that are even taking place now. I thank you for the healing and the restoration, the wholeness that has taken place, oh God in their lives, the lives of their future spouses and themselves. In the name of Jesus, I thank you, Father, for that joy, that happiness that they will experience. In the name of Jesus, the name above every name. Amen and amen. Amen. God loves you so much. Um, he loves you more than you can imagine. And if you've been praying this prayer and you don't know the, the Lord Jesus Christ, or maybe you are born again, but you have backslidden, you, you don't have that relationship with him anymore. I just want you to rededicate your life today. If God is calling you, the Spirit of God is calling you and drawing your heart today to draw near to Him, just submit to Him right now. Submit to His Spirit. If you're not born again, submit to His Spirit. If He's tugging at your heart, just say this prayer and give your life to Jesus Christ. It is Jesus Christ who will perfect your love life. It is Jesus Christ who will teach you and make you experience that beauty of a relationship, that beauty of a, of a marriage, a fulfilling marriage, a fulfilling love life. It comes from Him. And He will teach you by His Spirit. He will show you the mysteries of His Word and you will begin to experience those promises that, that come from only Him. So just say this prayer and just repeat after me. Lord Jesus, I believe that You are the Son of God. I believe that You died for me. I believe that You died for my sins. I believe that You rose again after three days. And I believe that you are the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. I believe in you, Jesus Christ. And I submit myself to you today. Lord Jesus, be the Lord of my life. Be the master of my life. Be the King of my life. And teach me how to live a life consecrated to you by your spirit 
In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Let me just pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, those that have given their lives, to those that have given their lives to you, oh God, I pray that you protect them. Protect them by your spirit. Lead them to the right churches, oh God, I pray. Begin to use their lives for your glory, oh God. Reveal yourself to them by your spirit, oh God, and even lead them to places where they can be baptized in water and in fire. Oh God, and even now, oh God, baptize them with your fire even now. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus, the name above every name, in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. If you're just giving your life to Jesus Christ, um, there's a link in the description box. I've put together some tools that you can look at and read just to follow up from now that you're born again. God loves you so much and thank you so much for watching this video. God bless you and I'll see you next week. Take care. Bye. Grab a copy of my latest book, Incorruptible Beauty, on Amazon, Kindle, and iBooks.